Hello, everybody. My name is Julia Zuleto. I am a senior data scientist at Salkenska University Hospital in Gothenburg, Sweden, and I have a confession to make. I am a recovering academic. What does that mean? I used to work in academia for a good number of years, and I still carry with me some of the bad habits and practices that academics do when they work with code. One of the bad habits that I didn't get into is uh, not using version control, but a lot of people actually don't. Why? Let's talk about it. There's different types of academic researchers. If you're thinking about the Smarties doing really cool ML models and publishing their research in Europe, you can rest assured they're probably using uh, version control. You don't need to worry about that. But there's so many other researchers out there, uh, researchers who still work with data, who still do amazing discoveries. Many of them actually do all of the data processing and analysis in Excel. But there's this long... Um, scale of people between these two extremes and a lot of them do collect or analyze data with code but also don't use version control what's up with that that's a little weird well it can actually be quite logical as academics were expected to play very different roles in the academic ecosystem and we have to be able to do all of these to some standard which often makes it so that it doesn't pay off to be excellent in one of them, if that means that you're not gonna be good enough at the others. So as for most people working with data in academic research, the steps where they might benefit from uh, version control are the steps of collecting data and or analyzing data. It might not be a worthy investment of their time to try to learn this new system. This is actually the number one reason that I hear when I try to gently nudge my collaborators to use, for example, version control, that whenever they think about it, they come to the conclusion that the perceived benefit does not match the effort required to learn and or switch. And that can be a real thing. So what do we do? Well, my experience and wise words from uh, some research software engineers that I've been interviewing for this is... It's great if you can get people started when they're fairly early in their careers so that they uh, learn the right way from the get-go. Um, that often requires there to be role models or collaborators or uh, slightly older researchers who show them the ropes and, and try to set them on the right path from the get-go. If you manage to do this, you are much more likely to end up with an academic who knows what version control is and doesn't have negative feelings towards it. If if it's too late to start someone young, then you probably will need to make some very compelling arguments. Uh, and these arguments have to be specifically compelling to academics. Um, typical arguments for using Git include, oh, hey, collaborate easier. You can do these branches. That's cool. Um, Oh, share your code with everybody in the world. And to that, uh, my former academic self and most others say, uh, nope, none of this sounds compelling. We don't usually collaborate on the coding part. Uh, branching sounds too complicated. Not, I don't really have any need for that. And I actually kind of am terrified of sharing my code with everybody. Uh, what I think might work better is if you emphasize um, some of the individual benefits that you can get from using version control. For example, if something went wrong, you can always take the magic time machine back to how things were yesterday. You can always go back to an offsite backup of your code uh, in case your computer decided to die. You can also work on the same code uh, from multiple computers and or computers and servers. And it's easy to be sure that you're always working on the most recent version of the code, uh, which can be somewhat difficult if you have a million files named barplot underscore pre, barplot underscore nicer. Um, also for early career researchers, Git is kind of a necessity if you ever want to consider working a data job outside of academia. And importantly, if you have your own lab, um, the code from all of the previous trainees and early career researchers who maybe have left the lab years and years ago would still be available for you and your lab to use. So what do we do? We try to start them young if we can. Uh, we do our best to see whether there can be role models. And if we have to argue for version control, we use arguments that are compelling specifically from the academic perspective. Thank you.